Hey, Pastor, let me just have a private moment with you and with your prayer leader. Uh, if you have the Praying Church Manual, I'm looking in Section 3, where our focus is getting organized. And there are five things that I want to kind of lay out for you for the first uh, uh, year. Fir first thing is that you want to lay out first year prayer activities. There are two kinds of these prayer activities. Number one are the great days of prayer. First Sunday of every quarter, our general overseer has asked us to have a great day of prayer. And here's the purpose, to expose your whole congregation to prayer. The whole congregation. So you want to do something on Sunday morning. You want to do something on uh, Sunday evening. But, but you don't want this to be an ancillary or auxiliary experience. The second thing you want to do is decorate your year with prayer experiences. And we've got a number of suggestions and resources that you can use in the prayer leadership manual. I would recommend at least six. Some of you may want to do as many as 10 to 12 because these will draw pieces of your congregation, some interested in prayer evangelism or in prayer in the home or some focus of prayer or the intercessors gathering for prayer. So number one, lay out your prayer experience activities for the year. Prayer meetings abound in the book of Acts. So consider launching or reinvigorating your church-wide prayer meeting by these great days uh, of prayer. Here's the second thing that you want to do. You want to have an envisioning evening. Now this, this vision evening is an evening in which you call people together who are involved in prayer ministry already, who might want to be involved in prayer ministry. We've got a whole evening planned, laid out for you in the manual. What you're going to do is listen to them pray, talk about prayer experiences, and just dream what does a praying church look like. And, and, and out of this, you're going to name a prayer learning team, a prayer leadership learning team. Don't launch into prayer ministry without exploring what prayer looks like. Now, this could be a handful of people or a larger group that over the next year and a half or so, they're going to explore prayer ministries, understand the theology of prayer. We're going to take them through a whole series of videos and learning experiences. We've got those evenings kind of lined out for you. And, and at the end of the six months, here's our goal. Our goal is to transition this prayer learning team into a planning team. Now, there are two things that are happening. Prayer advances on two legs. Learning, doing. Learning, doing. Let me tell you why people are afraid to pray. People don't show up for prayer meetings. They're scared. They don't know what's going to be expected of them. So you learn, and then you do, and then you teach into the learning gaps. This group is going to be learning kind of along the sidelines, all about what's happening in other churches in prayer, reading, studying, watching videos, and exploring. There are no prayer experts. One of the, one of the things that prayer will do, it'll humble us. It's the best medicine there is for prayer leaders. Everybody is in class 101. <clears throat> if we're talking about knowing and relating to God, everybody is a student. So this, this team is going to explore what prayer ministries in your church are going to look like in two years, in three years, eventually. And they're going to participate with you in first year prayer activities. In the next six months, this learning team ought to meet at least monthly to discuss and explore prayer ministry. Keep having your prayer experiences and keep letting this learning team explore quietly the structure of prayer ministries and the potential of prayer ministries in your church. At the end of this period, you're going to transition the learning team into a planning team. And this planning team is going to come back and lay out a projection 
for the next two to three years. Now, I know everything in you wants to launch into prayer and do it right away. If you do, it will be, it will be a mistake. Prayer activities are not enough. You need to grow deep before you grow big and large and tall. You need a team that hammers out the theology of prayer, philosophy of prayer ministries, what a vision for prayer ministry looks like, how that translates into, into mission, what your values are, a strategic long-term plan for three to five years, stories, examples, illustrations. And the more they work together to hammer this out, the tighter their commitment is going to be to bring prayer to the heart of everything you're doing. The fifth thing you're gonna do is transition that planning team into a leadership team. It may take you a whole year to get to this point, but when you get to this point, you'll have solid leadership. You will have hammered out values. You will have written a mission statement. You will have expanded a, a vision, your big picture plan. You will have broken it down into stages, strategy, and laid it out into the pieces to sustain a three to five year transformational prayer process is going to take deep determination and dedication. And, and, and your, your leadership team, if they're not a praying team, if they're, if, they're, if they're not open to learn, your prayer ministry will absolutely fail. And, and it's in these discussions that they'll become a team. If they pursue pieces of the prayer ministry about which each one of them are passionate without developing a seamless approach to prayer, without regard for the whole prayer ministry, your prayer ministry will fail. They need to have a clear, compelling, long-term sense of where the prayer ministry is to take the church. Out to revival, mission, personal transformation, and then, and then, and then, and then a prayer ministry that explodes in the community. Prayer should change the ethos, the culture of the church. Five things. Prayer activities to initiate the congregation into prayer. Great days of prayer and then all kind of other prayer activities. A vision evening. Here you're looking for who's interested in prayer. Three, a learning team. Six to seven, maybe even eight months. Four, a planning team. Five, now you're at the end of the year. You're really ready to launch a prayer leadership team. Now you know who's really committed. You know who's really dedicated to the process. In the next six videos, we're going to lay out some discussion items for these teams as they meet together and, and, uh, and share. God bless you. Hey, I'm so glad you're a part of the praying church movement.